Hello everyone, welcome to studygyan.com. In this video, we will be learning how to install macOS in VirtualBox on Windows. This is the step-by-step -step guide for installation of macOS on Windows. Watch this video till the end to get the 100% success. But without further delay, let's get started. Since we're installing the macOS in VirtualBox, we have to enable hardware virtualization. Let's go to the task manager. Here go to the full screen and now performance. You can see here virtualization is ena enabled. Now by default this feature is enabled and allows you to run and test any operating system in a virtual environment. If it's not enabled you need to check the BIOS setting and turn on hardware virtualization. Once it enable, you can verify the status using Window Task Manager. It's time to install the macOS in a virtual box on Windows. So go to the browser and search here virtual box. Here is the official link from the Oracle. Let's click to it. And this is the interface for the website and go to the downloads button. Here you can see the Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Solaris all are hosts. We have the window host. Let's click on it. Here it asking for the location. Let's save it. Here the download starts. For now, scroll down and VirtualBox extension pack. Let's download it. Here is the asking for the location. Let's save it. It is around 17.5 MB. Now let's go to the new tab and copy the link from the description box and paste it here for the macOS ISO file. And now you can see this kind of interface and let's scroll down. And here you can see download options, ISO image, macOS and torrent and click to the ISO image. You can see the old versions like Ventura and Vixer. We have to download the Vixer because it is stable and working fine. Let's click to it. Now asking for the locations like Vixer ISO file. Let's save it. And there it is around 13 GB. So I have already downloaded it so I have to cancel it. So now let's open the virtual box. Click to open it. Preparation install. Preparing to install. Welcome to Oracle virtual box setup wizard. Let's next. Custom setup. Select the way you want features to be installed. Here are the all features. Let it be default. And here is the location for VirtualBox where all files are stored. Let's click to the next. Network interfaces. Proceed with the installation now. Yes. Proceed with the installation now. Let's yes. Ready to install. Click install to begin the installations. Please wait while for here. Here you can see Oracle VirtualBox its installation is complete. Let's finish it. For now, before go to the VirtualBox, we have to disable the Hyper-V from the Windows security. We disable it because we don't want any conflicts in virtualization of third party programs. So let's go to the Windows security. Here search Windows security. And you can see here device security. Go to the settings. Here you can see the memory integrity is off. Your device may be vulnerable. It Make sure it is turned off. Okay. So let's go to the CMD. And run as administrator. And copy the command which I give you the description box and paste it here. This and press enter. 
uh, the operation completed successfully so all steps are done now make sure to restart your PC now after the installation of VirtualBox let's go to the download and install the Oracle VirtualBox extension pack let's click to open it here you can see VirtualBox you are about to install a VirtualBox extension pack let's install it here is the license I agree it is now installed this is the virtual box and we're going to create a virtual machine here for the Mac let's click to the new now you can give here a name like Mac OS and this is the folder for the virtual box where all files are stored this is the type of Mac OS and this is the version Mac OS 64 bit let's click to the next here you can see the amount of RAM and virtual CPU count you can give make sure it drag within the green and processor cpus are let's give the three let's click the next you can see the virtual disk it is around 20 gb you can maximize it but let it be default and click the next here is a summary for the virtual machine you can see machine name folder base memory processors and disk size let's click to the finish here it is a summary for our virtual machine of mac os now go to the settings here you can see the journal mac os go to the advanced here is the folders click to the shared clipboard to the bi-directional and drag and drop also bi-directional here description disk impression let it default go to the system here and it is the base memory you can see and uncheck the floppy here and make sure chipset is ICH9 okay let's go to the, the go to the display here you can maximize the video memory and graphic controllers this and enable the 3d acceleration for the battery graphics and now go to the storage you can see here control SATA let's click to the com empty and press on the disk icon go to the disk file Here is our Bixer ISO file 13 GB open it and you can select the audio let it be default go to the network here is our network adapter but go to the adapter 2 for the backup and select here the enable network adapter and select the bridge adapter now now go to the USB and make sure it is USB 3.0 and let all be default and go to the ok now before run the virtual machine you must run commands in cmd so let's open the cmd run as administrator copy the commands in the description box and paste it here So now a virtual machine Mac OS is complete ready. Let's begin to start. Click to it. Here powering VM up. Here you can see the select the language. Let's click on the yes. Now for the Mac OS recovery you have go to the disk utility and click to continue it. Now go to the VBOX media here and select the edit and press erase, erase it. Give the name like Mac OS disk and erase it. Now done now press the red button here and go to the install mac os continue it continue here is the license and agreement agree agree here is the disk our 40 
टू जी बी लेट्स कंटिन्यू इट नाउ द इंस्टॉलेशन स्टार्ट द फॉलो द ऑल इंस्ट्रक्शन केयरफुली स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाय टू यूज द मैक ओवर्स इन योर विंडोज Here you can see the old Mac OS interface, and you can enjoy the old features. You can use the App Store and run any apps here. Thank you for the video.